In the video, they go over various topics, supplements, training methods, and so on, and they give their opinion. Is it overrated or underrated? And so we're gonna see, do I agree or disagree? I'm featured throughout the video. Coach Greg, in today's video, we're gonna decide, is Jeff Nippert and Lane Norton correct or are they incorrect? I'm featured throughout the video, and so let's get right into it. Training to failure. Bodybuilders tend to overemphasize how important going to failure is, when in reality, you just have to be reasonably close to failure, usually within a couple reps of it. And first off, training to failure, and I 100% have to agree, you don't need to train to failure to make gains, unless, of course, you've been training for years. Beginners and intermediates, you don't need to train to failure. And so why am I showing the video? Well, oftentimes you'll hear me say, train harder than last time. And so why is that? If you don't have to train to failure, why am I saying train harder than last time? Well, the reason's simple. Most people trace in like pussy cats in the gym. They're training half-ass. How often do you see people in the gym training to failure? For the most part, people backing off three to five reps for failure. Next time you go to the gym, look around. How many people are really forcing it, really training till they can't get a single extra rep? And so if you really want to make the gains for the vast majority of people, you need to train harder. Does that mean you need to train to failure? Of course not. You just need to train harder than you are right now. Sumo deadlifts. I I think underrated. (laughs) (laughs) And sumo deadlifts, of course I'm going to agree. They're very underrated. For the most part, people think sumo's cheating. You got to do conventional. But the reality is, pick the one that you like most. Some people not made for conventional, some not made for sumo. And so just pick one and train harder than last time. The post-workout anabolic window. The post-workout anabolic window is highly overrated, as in it doesn't exist. And so if you think you need to slam back a protein shake 30 minutes after your workout, oh my goodness, I missed my window, I'm not going to build muscle. It's ridiculous. Listen, if you want to maximize muscle protein synthesis, consume five meals with protein a day. But even if you only get three, you're really going to get nearly the same benefits. Kiwi fruit. And I'm going to agree with Jeff Nippard. Kiwi fruit or any fruit or vegetable, highly underrated. So many people are not eating fruits and vegetables thinking, oh, it doesn't matter. You want to get in the extra fiber. It's going to help you to stay full, satiated, easier to stay at your ideal body weight. And so any fruit, kiwi is in fact a fruit. It's highly underrated. Please consume more fruits and vegetables than last time. Eating clean. Easy. First off, what's the objective definition of clean? And so eating clean, it's highly overrated. What the heck is clean? Is that chicken, broccoli, and rice? You don't need to eat clean. You want to aspartame. You want to eat foods that taste good. Get my friggin' cookbook. And no, not all the foods are healthy the way you think they are. As in, there's regular ass bread, you know, white bread and so on. Perhaps aspartame. But so what? What really matters is calories in, calories out. And so calories in, calories out, that is underrated. That is how you lose weight. Everyone in the world, I knew eating every single human being, even Barca, assuming he's human, the reason that you don't gain weight is because you're not eating any calorie surplus. Whether it's from junk food, licorice, candies, popcorn, diet foods, bulk foods, peanut butter. The reason people gain or lose weight because they're on a surplus or a deficit. Turkesterone. Overrated, it is almost entirely popular because of social media hype, which I think it got because it sounds like testosterone. And so turkesterone, I have to agree with both of them. Highly overrated. People are taking these things thinking they're going to put on 20 pounds of muscle. But in reality, they're probably going to put three, four, maybe five pounds of muscle. People are expecting to make night and day amazing transformations from turkesterone. The reality is it's perhaps only a little bit better than creatine. And so because of that, I have to agree, it's very overrated. Branch chain amino acids. And I'm going to have to say essential amino acids are in fact underrated. Why? Because for the most part, people think they don't do anything. But yet the research shows that it can in fact provide performance benefits. And so because of that, the fact that people don't think it works when it actually does, especially if you're on a low protein diet or if you're not consuming as many meals as perhaps you should be, you're doing fasted cardio, you're a vegan, vegetarian, not consuming a lot of protein. So these are in fact quality proteins that your body needs. And so to me, Essential amino acids are underrated. Creatine monohydrate. 
barely underrated. And so I have to agree more with Jeff Nippert, but I'm going to say creatine highly overrated. Why? Because for the most part, people think it's the number one supplement in the world. Nothing works better than creatine. Everyone needs to take creatine. Well, yes, I do in fact agree that it's an amazing supplement backed by research. Thousands of studies say it works, but for the most part, people think it works way better than it does. What does creatine actually do in terms of building muscle? On average, perhaps it helps you build two to three pounds of muscle. And oftentimes people are saying, oh, it's just water. It's going to bloat me. And so in reality, creatine works far less than people give it credit for. I in fact surveyed myself. Over 100,000 people responded said, hey, do you notice a benefit from creatine? Does it work or is it placebo? And so you're expecting to take creatine, perhaps put on five or 10 pounds of muscle, make amazing changes. And you know what's underrated? By far, hugely underrated. GO2 Max, the main ingredient, NMN, been shown in double-blind, placebo-controlled human studies to actually work. It causes a dramatic improvement in cardiovascular endurance. That's in your couch potato and your highly trained athletes. So much so that Joe Rogan said, I'm stocking up on this. I want to buy some before this podcast yeah. gets to air. Yeah, I have a boatload. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you some too. Adder Huberman said it gave him a ton of energy. And not only that, FDA cramp it down, say it works too well. We're going to classify this as a drug. We don't want supplement companies to sell it. It's too good. We want to allow pharmaceutical companies to make billions, perhaps trillions of dollars from this. It also been shown to have anti-aging properties. And so if there's one supplement above all, NMN, the number one supplement in the world. And notice it's not discussed in this video. How could you leave this one out? The most underrated supplement in the world. They don't even talk about it. Why? Why do you think? You think Jeff Nippard wants to admit that Coach Greg was right? No, let's just talk about Terkesterone. And so although Derek is the person that made it popular, let's put a photo of Coach Greg. And so rather than showing an image of Coach Greg, why are we not showing Derek? Hmm, I wonder. Testosterone boosters. There are some that cause very modest increases in testosterone. And so is two to 400 nanograms per deciliter not a massive change? I mean, are we going to argue with Andrew Huberman? He discussed this on the Joe Rogan podcast. Fedosia Gressis, Tom Cataly, Ali's favorite, and Ashwagandha? Oh no, they don't work at all. Maybe a small benefit, but you won't notice it. Really? Well, perhaps they're talking about test boosters of old. You know, five, ten years ago, before there were solid human clinical trials showing you that it raises testosterone levels. But let's see what Jeff Nippard says. Ashwagandha. And there's some pretty compelling research that it acts through multiple different mechanisms yeah. to improve recovery, strength, a little bit of testosterone, yeah. who cares? And so isn't it interesting? They both say ashwagandha's underrated, yet ashwagandha's in test boosters. And yet, test boosters are overrated. Jeff Nippert himself is on ashwagandha. And they even stated it can boost your test levels. And so which is it? How can you say ashwagandha is underrated when ashwagandha is in test boosters and test boosters are overrated? And so perhaps it's personal bias. Jeff Nippert's using ashwagandha and saying, well, it doesn't work in test boosters. But test boosters have ashwagandha. And so click the link in the description. Code Greg, 10% off. We have both three test and G test. Choose the one you want. Trust me, this stuff has been shown to work. And it's not the placebo effect can actually work in the real world. Ice baths. I am convinced that this is mostly just to look cool. And I have to agree. Ice baths are overrated. If your goal is to build muscle, ice baths reduce inflammation and make you build less muscle. And so if your goal is to get Jack to develop an aesthetic physique and put on muscle, ice baths are only going to slow you down. However, if your goal is to just decrease inflammation, perhaps recover faster, and your goal is not to put on muscle, then go for it. But I don't think most people going in ice baths are hoping to build less muscle. Fasted cardio. And I have to agree, we should all know by now, fasted cardio is not better than fed cardio. Calories in, calories out. And so if you're doing fasted cardio because you like it, keep doing it. But don't think I have to add in fasted cardio because it's better than fed cardio. And so let me know in the comment section, you're surprised by my answers. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with Jeff or Willie Norton? Don't forget you can get harder than last time supplements, the most underrated being GO2 Max, 
head over to my website, code Greg, 10% off. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Don't forget to watch one of these two bloops over by the beach on the left over there. I'm in friggin' the Dominican. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette IB Pro. Don't forget the cookbooks, the training books, the coaching plans by me and my team, the circle diet book, the clothing line, everything you can get it over the website, code Greg, 10% off. Head over there right now. And until next time, I am out.